I just tell myself I had to be strong and go on. You know, if I have a hard time with something, I just, you know, I just want to make sure he's there. He would help out anyone, you know, who uh, needed help. He was against bullying. Memories are painful for Jeanette and Rick Talek as they recall the day their son Wyatt died in a motorcycle accident. You never know. Just like my son is just uh, devastated when I got that uh, officer at my front door. Their way of dealing with that pain, keeping a piece of their son with them. I carry him close to my heart every day, you know, just like her. Around the Talek's neck, you'll find these that hold their son's ashes. Knowing that I can just reach out to him and still hold on to him. In their living room, an urn shaped like a motorcycle gas tank. But for some, they wear memories a different way. I mean, really just being there to, to listen to him, you know, to talk about their loved one or the life they had and uh, how much they meant to him, you know, just being in the ear. Adrian Berry. At 7th Street Tattoo in Little Rock says he often creates memorials on the skin. Having lost somebody, not never expecting something like that. Um, so to be able to get something that feels permanent, I think is a big draw to it. Marilyn Roberts felt that draw after losing her husband to cancer. And I know there's a reason. And one day we'll know. She shows off her ink on the back of her neck. I just wanted to do something just to keep that memory alive and to, to honor him. Feathers in his nickname leave her with a permanent feeling her husband is always with her. I had a lot of people tell me, well, you know, you need to do something like that that would show the world that he was here. Both families say, I want their memories kept alive. It's not how you remember the past. I just want to make sure he's there but that you don't let go.